Hi everybody, I'm Claire Dupier and I want to talk about our way of integrating the DNA Center into a large corporate network. My name is Thomas Korn. I studied computer science with focus on IT security in Aalen, Germany. And today I'm working for two years at Robert Bosch GmbH. In my free time, I like to go hiking and being in the nature. Apart from that, I love barbecue and working with food. Please let me first give you a few figures of the company's network environment, because that will help to understand the following story. The Bosch corporate network includes 1,800 network sites. The management tools are used by 200 concurrent users. In total, we have 1,200 users like network engineers, operators, and reporting users. The network consists of about 8,100,000 8, active and managed network components. Therefore, are more than 16 network management tools in place, most of them connected to each other. Maybe you can think of it a little bit like that. In the center of the network management tool landscape, there's a content management database, which is the single point of truth. It contains information about every managed network component and is connected to a lot of other tools. It is also the single point of access that is provided to the network management users. That means that it is not necessary to use different GUIs and graphical user interfaces for daily network tasks. Among the CMDB, there are multiple other network management tools symbolized by those icons. They are used for monitoring network automation or security to mention a few. The Network Enterprise Orchestration, short NEO, integrates and synchronizes network management tools, for example, via different types of APIs. It can be used to implement complex processes and algorithms and has a powerful service management capability. Now I will show you the current challenge, which is also the reason why I'm standing here today. Our goal is driving the DNA Center fully integrated in our network management tools landscape via REST API. That means using the DNA Center only via API. Have you ever tried that? I would be very interested in the experiences you made. Please don't hesitate to contact me. My email is thomas.corn at de.bosch.com. To give you a better idea, you can see here our picture included in the DNA Center. This idea is only possible because the DNA Center provides a number of APIs for several areas of functionality. And although we are still waiting for some more, there are already a lot we could start with. But before we take a closer look into a specific API use case, let me tell you about our approach. First, we had to identify and describe use cases and also to prioritize depending on the benefit, for example, the amount of time saving. The next action was and still is to explore the DNA Center APIs, also testing them proved necessary. Based on the defined use cases, we could identify missing APIs which are needed to implement the process. A few of them already have been implemented in new releases. Also in progress is the implementation of orchestration workflows as well as the customization of the CMDB. After this general part, I'd like to go more into detail and present you a specific use case that is already in productive state. Our topic today is the onboarding of the zero access points via API. To describe the workflow of onboarding access points, the following tools have to be taken into account. The access points themselves are connected to a wireless LAN controller, short WSC. This in turn is linked to the DNA Center. The DNA Center is connected via Intent API with the orchestration platform NEO. NEO is the middle layer including the workflow, programming, and algorithms. 
EU then is triggered by the CMDB, which is controlled by user input. Now you might ask, why don't they use the DNA central GUI for onboarding the access points and sync the data afterwards into the CMDB? There are two main reasons I want to share with you. First, you might remember that we provide one single GUI for the network management users. And although the DNA Center might cover a lot of areas of functionality, we have a huge number of network components that are not supported by Cisco. That means that we need the CMTP as our single point of access for sure. The second point is the deep integration of the CMTP in the tools landscape that can't be replaced by the DNA Center. Let's go more into detail. By example, the user adds an access point in the CMDB. Because the CMDB contains the network hierarchy, the relation to a site is given as well as the information about the responsible DNA center appliance for the region in which the access point must be onboarded. Together with further information like the also starting A center site ID, the NEO is triggered. The first step in the new workflow is to check the DNA Central's inventory for the access points. In case that it already exists, the device is not a day zero device. The next API call is used to check the plugin playlist. If the device is not included, it will be added via post add device to PNP. PNP call and the check will be repeated. With the knowledge that the device is on the PNP list, the status will be checked. In case that the status is equal to unclaim the API call to claim the device is sent to DNA Center. Claiming the device can take a short time, so there might be some retries until the status change to be efficient. The last API call sent to DNA Center is to delete the device from the PNP list. Now the access point is listed and configured in the inventory list. The last step of the workflow is to return device information that were unknown in the beginning, for example, the management IP to the CMDB. After that, the workflow exits successfully. On the last slide, I would like to share two learnings concerning API development. For using the DNA Center in a fully API-driven way, the API developer experience DX is at least as important as the user experience in the GUI. And there I would like to mention two points which really help to increase the DX enormously. First point is a good standardization concept, which is applied without exceptions and deviations. The second point that makes any API developer happy is a complete, up-to-date, consistent, and detailed documentation. All in all, the DNA Center provides a high number of APIs, and I hope that we will see further improvements in DX and coming APIs. Thanks for listening and have a great day.